How to send emails using Brevo, Brevo email marketing tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with email marketing on Brevo. Now, if you are a brand in the current world, it's really important to have your own email marketing tools available to you to be able to send newsletters, promotional emails, abandoned card recovery, as well as sending out updates. And you can do all of that with Bravo. So let's jump right in and take a look at how we can get started. Starting off, you're going to head on over to bravo.com and then click on sign up for free. And this is the best part about using Bravo is that you can get started with your Google or Apple account or just your email address. And you do not need to provide any special information. Just your email is enough for you to get started with Bravo. Now, in only five seconds, we have created our Bravo account. Now on your top right, you're going to see your profile and you will see your profile, the current plan you are in, and we will be discussing plans and pricing at the end of this video. Then you have your settings, plugins, and integrations. Now from here on the left, we have our basic menu bar. This includes your contacts, campaigns, automations, transactional emails, conversations, deals, meetings, and calls. Now, for any email marketing tool, initially you want to go into your plugins and integrations, and you usually want to integrate your website. So, if you have a website, you can integrate that into your Bravo account so that whenever a customer subscribes to your newsletter or places an order, then you collect their email from your website and it's automatically synced up to your Bravo account. However, if you're starting off manually, you can click on contacts on the left. Once you click on contacts, you will see different options at the bottom, including lists and segments. Now, lists are static lists, which you can create, but segments are based upon a behavior. So a segment could be VIP customers, where customers that are spending over $1,000 on our store would be added, and it would automatically be updated. Then we have companies, landing pages, forms, and settings. So if you want to use Brevo to collect emails as well, you can build a Brevo form and integrate that onto your website. Now we're just going to go into contacts and then click on create a contact on the top right. Once you do that on the top right section, you will see a pop-up is going to open up where you can enter the name of the particular person. Let's say it's Anna Kate, and then we're going to add their email address. We can add their phone number as well as specify which list they belong to. We can enter their job title, associated companies, and more. Now, the reason why job titles and associated companies are available is because you want to go into companies and you can add segments of brands that you are working with or any other business communication that you have, which is not necessarily a customer. Rather, it is going to be a fellow brand. Now, once we've added our first contact, we can begin by creating our first email. To do this, you can click on campaigns on the left. And once you click on campaign, you can proceed with building your campaign. So I'm going to click on create campaign on the top right. And we have several different types of campaigns, including email, SMS, WhatsApp, and web push. Now, we even can see some pre-built sequences of messages. So these are automations which we will be covering after we've built our basic email. So I'm going to go into email over here and we have two types of campaigns, A-B test and regular. Today, we're going to be creating a regular campaign. So this is going to be welcome to Lily's and I'm going to click on create campaign. After that, you choose your campaign settings. This includes your sender, the recipient, so I can click on add recipients and I can select a list or a segment of people. So I'm going to select all of my segments like this and I can even just go into my basic segmentation, select all options. We can add those over here. Once we've done that, I'm going to click on save. Then I will add a subject line. Your subject line is going to be the line that appears in the inbox of your receiver. So click on your subject line and make sure it's something that excites your customers or the receiver. Let's say it's going to be Lily's annual summer sale is live. And then I can add the preview text. So shop your favorite at 20 or 70% off. And then I'm going to click on save. Once I do that, I can click on start designing to start designing my email. 
Now, when you're designing your email, you have several different layouts that you can use. You even have a template gallery, your templates that you've saved, as well as campaigns, and you can even code your own. I'm going to go with a really simple template. So we can choose to start from scratch, which means that we have a basic blank screen and we can customize it however. But I'm going to go with the default template because it's a tried and tested email template. Once I've done that on the top, we have the logo section. And in this, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to click on image over here. And then I'm going to click on replace. Then I'm going to click on upload. And once I do that, I can choose my own logo image. Now you can set up your own brand directly on to Brevo. And this allows you to have your brand be implemented into all of your email content and without you having to manually upload it over and over again. But I'm just going to upload this logo and I'm going to click on insert. Then I can click on these dots over here to just resize this a little. So we have this pretty large logo image. So I'm just going to hold it like so and I'm going to resize it. Once I've done that, I'm going to add our headline or this is going to say the premium summer sale. Then we have an image again. Now this is a template, so it already has a lot of content. But if I want, I can select any content element and delete it like so. And if you want to add your own content element, so let's say I want to build my own column of just two images, I'm going to delete these. Then I can go in into the left menu bar and then click on image and I can add an image. Then I can click on sections and I can design, you know, add some pre-designed sections as well. But I'm going to add a simple brand image like this. And once we do that, we're just going to click on insert. And then we have the rest of our title, our content. We can add text, buttons, videos, social, HTML, and much more. Once we've done that, we are going to click on preview and test. And we can add a preview contact, which allows us to see how our email is going to be delivered to our customers. Now, if I am satisfied with the appearance of my email, I can click on save and quit on the top right. Once I do that, I can proceed with my email campaign. Now I can click on schedule and schedule my email to be sent at a particular time or if I want to send it at the best time and Brevo would automatically um, maximize your open rate by sending it at the ideal time over a course of 24 hours. You can click on send now to instantly send out your campaign. And once you send out your campaign, you will have recipients, opens, clicks, and unsubscribed, all of your basic stats listed ahead of your campaign. Now, if you want to only design your email and send it at a later time, you can design your email and then go into automations. Once you go into automations, you can click on create your first automation and you can build a sequence of actions that are going to happen before your email is sent. Additionally, all of these amazing features on Brevo are available for free where you can send upwards of 300 emails a day with customizable templates and SMS and WhatsApp campaigns. You also have transactional emails that you can integrate. Then this is yearly pricing, which gives you a 10% discount. If you opt for monthly pricing, you can get started for only $9, which allows you 5,000 emails a month with no sending limits, no Bravo logos, and 24-7 support. Their business plan is only $18 a month with 5,000 emails per month and marketing automations. And enterprise versions can also be opted for if your needs are going to redeem Tech Express to save 50% on our starter and business plans for the first three months on our annual subscription only applicable to new paying customers. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.